What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and I make videos about photography, camera gear, amateur videography, and vlogs. And it is so nice to see everybody's smiling faces. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. So in the spirit of the holidays, I'm talking about what I want for Christmas this year. And what I want for Christmas isn't actually a physical thing at all. Recently, Nikon pushed firmware updates out for their first generation mirrorless cameras, including the Z6, the 7, and the Z50. And I can say, I updated my Z50, which you guys have seen me shoot with on this channel quite a bit. And there is a noticeable improvement in the quality of autofocus that I'm getting from that camera, especially when it comes to things like uh, stickiness and the speed of the autofocus, how well it tracks face and eye detection for both human and animal subjects. I am thoroughly impressed with what they were able to do on the older hardware to make it a better camera in, well, the end of 2021, even though those cameras have been out for, uh, it seems like about three years now. And before we talk about what I want for Christmas, we have to also talk about the recently announced, released Nikon Z9 camera the $5,500 pro level body that Nikon has graced the photography community with, with its presence. The Z9, tremendous looking camera. Obviously I haven't had my hands on one, but based off of everything I've seen, it's tremendous, amazing autofocus. They brought 3D tracking back. It's got like insane video features, including like 8K up to 60 frames per second, just a beast of a camera. So what I'm hoping is we'll see some of those features make their way into the second generation mirrorless cameras, the Z6 II and 7 II. All right, the moment we've been waiting for, what Zach wants for Christmas. What I want is a firmware update for these second gen cameras. My Z6 II here, I love the camera. It gets amazing quality, amazing color, really good video. I wanna see some of those features that they put in the Z9 push to the second gen cameras via firmware update and well, okay, before I tell you what mine are, let me know what yours are in the comment section below. What would you like to see in the Z6 II and 7 II via firmware update? I'm gonna give you two things. These are, these are my two wish list items for the second gen cameras. Number one, let's talk about video. More and more people are hybrid shooters nowadays. That's somebody who does both photo and video for personal and client work. Naturally, you'd want your camera to do amazing at both. And the 6 II is pretty darn close. What I would love to see though, what's really missing in this camera is internal 10-bit log recording. Give me the 10-bit in-log in camera without having to use the expensive HDMI recorder like the Ninja 5 from Atmos. That's like a six, $700 piece of kit and it makes your setup bigger. It's another piece of gear to fumble with. Like it's expensive. I don't want to do that. I want 10-bit log baked into the camera so I can get the most out of the sensor's dynamic range and uh, you know just have a better time color grading and post-processing when I'm working with high contrast situations. So the uh, 6.2 and well basically all the Nikon mirrorless cameras, all they have is an 8-bit flat profile to shoot video with, which it's okay. It's pretty malleable. You can color grade it. It looks nice. But in high contrast situations, I have definitely shot some stuff that I couldn't recover the highlights, I couldn't recover the shadows. It just didn't look as great as what you might get from Canon or Sony with those you know, internal log profiles. As for the photography side of things, I wanna see 3D tracking come to the Z6 II, and I think that this is possible. So some people will say, well, the Z6 II and 7 II can't do 3D tracking because of the X-Speed 6 processor. It's just not fast enough. The thing is, <laughs> 3D tracking was available long before the Z6 II came out. In fact, I'm pretty sure my D750 had that, and that camera was released in like 2014. So I don't think it's a matter of processing power. I think they just need to put it into the camera and, and make it work. <laughs> Everything I've seen on the, the Z9 with the 3D tracking, the way it tracks subjects, like you select your subject and it like grabs the head, grabs the eye, follows that thing around, even if things are like running in front of it. It's, it's wacky how good the 3D tracking autofocus is. If Nikon can bring that to these cameras, they all of a sudden become really solid competitors to similar price cameras from Sony and Canon. Can they do it? I'm not sure. I'm not an engineer of cameras, so 
ultimately, I, I don't know, but I anticipate that it is possible. Should they do it? Absolutely, right? That is going to give these cameras a lot more mileage without them having to release new bodies to capture more of the market share, right? You've got excellent cameras out right now. Let's make those as good as possible with the parts shortage, with the chip shortage, with manufacturing delays and shipping delays and all of that. Ah, that would stink to have to come out with new cameras to be competitive. Whereas you could just push updates to your existing cameras that you already produce, that you already manufactured, that you probably already have stocked somewhere, right? Get more longevity out of those. And I think you're gonna be in a good spot, Nikon. So uh, not hating on Nikon, not hating on my Z6 II. I love this camera, I love that brand. Um, I am a fanboy, you know, case in point. I have shot with Canon, I have owned a Sony. I always end up back here because it, it's to me what feels like home, right? I just love the way they feel in my hands. I love using them. I love like the user interface. Everything checks all the boxes for me. All I'm asking is that we maximize the hardware that a lot of us already have or a lot of us want. Anyway, guys. That's all I have for you today. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section down below if Nikon does push out firmware updates to the 6.2 and 7.2. Like what's gonna change the game for you? What's gonna push you to that buying decision? What's gonna keep you in the Nikon ecosystem? As always, thank you so much for watching. That's all I got. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys and have a very happy holiday. Bye.